Okay, let's make a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all binary strings W, where W is any string except one one and triple ones. And so this seems quite complicated because there are so many different cases of what we need to do. If we have a string of exactly two characters, we must make sure it's not one one, but it could be any of the other cases. And it's even more for if the string has length three. So we gotta have some indication of whether it has length two or length three or length four after the fact, it should be any string. So this seems quite complicated. Well, this is where closure under complement can help us. So closure in the complement says, if we ignore the condition right here and say, if W is one one or one one one, then we should accept, make a DFA for that thing and then flip final and non-final states, therefore we'll be done. So let's focus on the opposite condition of it being exactly one one or exactly triple ones. And what we should do to solve that problem is to make the transitions that solve the string being exactly two ones or three ones and add the other transitions later. So I'm gonna have one, and then one right here. So that means we have read two ones, therefore we need to accept right here. If we read one more one, we will accept right here because we have read three ones. If we read anything else other than that, it's not one of these two strings, and so therefore it should not be accepted. So therefore, if I read either zero or one after the fact, it should go to a dead state, which reads through all of the other characters. Well then, what about all of those zero transitions for these guys? Well, if we read a zero here, it's not gonna be one one or triple ones no matter what, because they don't have zero at all. And so therefore, they need to go to the dead state as well. So that's gonna go over here. If we read a zero here, it's gonna go to the dead state. And if we read a zero here, that's gonna go to the dead state. And so therefore, that's a DFA for exactly two ones or exactly three but we wanted every string other than those. So all that we need to do is flip which states are final and non-final. This one was not final before, I'm gonna make it final. This one was final, so I'm gonna make it not. This one was, make it not. This one was not, I'm going to make it final. This one was not final, I'm gonna make it final. And so therefore, this is a DFA for the language of all binary strings that are not one one or triple ones.